Doshimkis, Doshimkis Productions. YouTube. It's your boy Doja B from Doja B. Which is, uh, I'm making partitions like so. I'm about to redo my water system. I had some more nipples, but I'm making grow racks for, well, not grow my racks, uh, maternity racks for the moms. I figured that'll be the best use for this rack. That way I can start separating my females from over there once they're pregnant. Put them in these racks here. I still have to attach this here and I have to attach that one on the back. But um, separate them here so they can grow, um, give birth and have their babies here for a while. And then the two racks that I had here, or even these two here at the bottom could be for my grow up, my grow up racks. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm at right now. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick update. And I'll update you on the next step of the process when I actually add or modify my watering system. All right, guys, catch you in a minute. Peace. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Doja B from Doja B Exotics. Want to do a quick update? So these were the. This is the hardware that I used on here. See the like the clear or opaque whatever connectors. And I did end up finding my other stuff. But it's actually the same size. So what I'm gonna do is, since I have all the same size hardware, I just go online and try to find some black holes this size. Unfortunately, now I have to mod this again because uh, I partitioned this for um, a nursing rack for my uh, maternity rack for my pregnant mothers. Got it all separated. Got the board screwed in. Um, I may adjust them a little bit, one of them one of the side bends came on a little bit bigger so I may screw them over like a half this one over a half inch and then that one over a half inch then it'll be pretty much even on all of them um, but other than that uh, I like the way it came out it came out pretty good I just have to add a, a couple more nipples I detached these when I had took them out because I had to screw the back side so um, yeah I'm gonna add two more nipples for uh, water on each tier Got to give me nine tubs for the maternities. Uh, let, uh, my sit or the rats that are in. Damn, my hands are dry. Been out here working all day on this stuff, but and it's pretty cold out here today, so got a little bit of a sniffle. And I added some screws here too, so I can. Um, and each tub has a screw, which I could use uh, my little clips and uh, little keychain tags to identify where the female came from because as you know you can't put females that aren't used to each other um, siblings or whatever together they'll fight and kill each other so uh, then from there I went I numbered each tier that actually has rats in it um, the last one is a mouse uh, tub so I didn't put a number on that so that way I can put a number on a tag from which the females came from and hang it on whichever tub it is in and then that way once she's done weaning the rats out I can take her back and put her in the correct tub with the correct females that way we won't have any issues with uh, fighting hopefully so we'll see how it works out um, I haven't tried it yet but oh uh, yeah this is a work in progress it's trying to make things better more streamlined and trying to up the productivity. Alright guys, I'll catch you later. Doja B from Doja B Exotic signing out. Until next time. Peace. What up YouTube? This is your boy Doja B from Doja B Exotics. So we'll do a quick update. I had did some modifications to the newer rat rack that I got or the new used one that I modified. I have put these little dividers in so I can use this for a, a maternity rack for the female rats that I have that are pregnant. I haven't moved any over yet. I just got finished modifying the water system. So this was the original hardware I had. The one, the red tees are the new ones that I put on. I changed the one that was here because it was kind of 
do good. Uh, see how I was like bending. And this red plastic's a little bit thicker than this stuff here. So all the new stuff I just used out of the other kit that I had. So I added some more uh, nipples, some more hoses. So all I have to do now is purge the system a little bit and that's just to get the air out of the line and get the water down. So what I do is I just put like a container in there, hit the nipple, and as you can see, oh, I missed it up there, but now, see air bubbles coming out. We have water all the way throughout now. And I'll purge this one right here real quick. I might get in the bedding, but oh well. Get it. Cool. So now, and I still had water down here. So I cleared the line up to that point of uh, water, and I was working on the top half. So it should be good. That's what to share that with you guys, and I will post this in a little bit. All right, guys, catch you later. Peace.